Ozzy, 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 Ozzy is a friend of yours, and he's a friend of mine. G'day, Ozzy. G'day, Ozzy. G'day, Ozzy. G'day, Ozzy. G'day, Ozzy. G'day, kids. Ozzy here. Now let's sit back together and read a good book about footy. And this one is one of my favourites. It's called When I Grow Up, I'm Going to Play for the New South Wales Blues. The Mighty Blues. It's written by Gemma Carey. Out you go, said Mum, and the screen went black. No, wailed Jack. I was 12 nil up. Very good, said Mum. Now go and play outside. Jack glanced at the window and saw their cat Furball scowling in the rain. But... Soon, Jack found himself outside, standing in a puddle. What was he meant to do out here? His football was flat and there was no one to play with. I know, he said, bounding indoors. Uh-oh, the dripping furball saw his chance and darted into the kitchen. Furball, howled Mum, no! Furballs brought the mud in and made a big old mess of the papers and the computer. On the back of his bedroom door, Jack found what he wanted. It was the New South Wales Blues jersey. Look, he's got New South Wales Blues jerseys and pictures of his favourite players everywhere. For some reason, he always felt more confident wearing this jersey, and he usually played better too. He put it on and instantly felt happier. Back outside, it had stopped raining. Jack grabbed a frizzy tennis ball in both hands and practiced his passing. He kicked the ball through the defensive washing line like his heroes from the New South Wales Blues. He scooped up the ball, dodged around the flower beds, then dived into the ground, scoring a terrific try. Jack celebrated with a big kick into the crowd, but the ball sailed right over the fence and hit something with a satisfying thwack. squealed old Mrs. Bettershed, who had been busy digging up carrots. My bottom! Just then, Jack heard the familiar thump of a car door. Hello, Mrs. Bettershed, called Jack's dad, appearing in the back garden. Mrs. Bettershed glowered and speared the tennis ball with her hefty pitchfork. Sorry, said Jack, trying not to laugh. Hello, superstar. Dad said to Jack, I've bought us a present. Dad held out a bag and Jack peered inside. It was a brand new football. Not only that, it was in the colours of their favourite state of origin team, the New South Wales Blues. Cool, said Jack. We're celebrating, said Dad, because tonight is game one of the state of origin series. Whoosh. The pair were soon having their best ever game of footy. They seemed to play for hours. When they eventually stopped for tea, Dad said, I've spoken to our local team and they're having a trial tomorrow. They said you can come along if you want to. Really? said Jack. Awesome! Next day, father and son arrived at the football field. The changing rooms were bustling with children in blue and red bibs, nervously waiting to show off their skills. Out on the field, whistles tooted, players jumped, passed and caught and shouted, and balls flew everywhere. The coach soon signalled for Jack to join a game, and Jack raced over. He cheered when others made good breaks and encouraged players who missed conversions. When one boy fell over, Jack helped him up. There he is, what a really good sport. But secretly, Jack was worried about his own performance. 
When the halftime whistle blew, he had barely touched the ball, let alone scored a try. Someone near the sub's bench caught Jack's eye. It was his dad, waving madly. Jack jogged over and his dad pulled out Jack's favourite New South Wales Blues jersey from a backpack. Wear this under your bib, son. You always play brilliantly with this on. Jack did as his dad said. As he sprinted back onto the field, he imagined he was stepping out of the tunnel at ANZ Stadium. Blue and white banners rippled in the air while the crowd sang the national anthem. How exciting would that be? All of a sudden, Jack was the best player on the field. In the second half, he scored three incredible tries, while no one else scored more than one. He was confident. He was happy. He was playing like a star. At the end of the trial, the coach called out the names of the players who had made the final 13. Paul, Ryan, Bo, James, Robbie. Everyone clapped after each name. Aaron, Trent, Mitchell, Will, Michael. It sounds like the same names from one of the New South Wales Blues origin teams from a few years ago. Jack stared at his feet. Maybe he hadn't made the team after all. Josh, Brett. That wouldn't be the Morris brothers, would it? I think it might be. And finally, said the coach, one young man stood out as the kindest, friendliest lad on the field. And he sure can play rugby league. The coach turned to Jack how would you like to be our captain? Woohoo! Jack leapt into the air, waving his arms in excitement. I'll take that as a yes, said the coach, and everyone laughed. Dad couldn't stop grinning. He praised Jack all the way home. You are amazing, son. Unstoppable. A real champion. Thanks, Dad, Jack replied. I can't wait for my first match, but one day, I suppose I won't be able to play for them anymore. Oh, why not? asked Dad. Because when I grow up, I'm going to play for the Blues. And guess who else is going to play for the Blues? You are. Wow, what a great book. So many amazing lessons in here. This was one of my favourites, when the little boy fell over and Jack helped him up and he was encouraging players that missed their conversions. What a good sport. And then this bit here, when the coach said that Jack was the kindest and the friendliest lad on the field. Because it's not always about being the best, is it? It's about encouraging other people and playing like a good sport. So I hope you learnt lots during this book and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thanks for reading it with me. We'll see you next time on the next video with Ozzy. Until then, stay keen. Hey kids, did you have lots of fun today watching Ozzy? I hope so. Did you know that we've got a heap of Ozzy episodes on our YouTube channel? If you haven't already, go back and have a scroll through. I reckon you'll find some others that you absolutely love. And while you're there, why don't you hit subscribe? That way you won't miss out on any of our new videos that we bring out. We'll see you again soon, kids. Until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right, stay keen, kids. Aussie, 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 Aussie,